What up, everybody? With only two episodes remaining in season three of Ghost, it got everybody asking, when is Power Book 4 Force coming back on? I'm pretty sure last year that Force premiered on the same day as the season two finale of Ghost, similar to how it went with BMF and Ghost this year. So far, things have been airtight concerning Force. No season two release date, no teaser or trailer, and not even too much behind the scenes footage. That gets me to the question, is it because they are planning a Ghost Force crossover in the season three finale of Ghost? When season one of Force concluded, there was not too many storylines carrying over into season two. Honestly, the season ended as if there could have only been one season. Tommy has been reconciled with his brother and his mom, Kate, and even has a nephew, D-Mac, who survived getting shot. Diamond and Jannard have agreed to divide their turf, and the Flynn children are at odds with Walter. So the perfect scenario would be a crossover with Ghost on the Ghost Season 3 finale to spice things up. The first scenario I have is concerning Tommy's two nephews squaring off, Tariq and D-Mac. Season 3 of Ghost would basically be coming to a conclusion and the Rico case over with and whoever dies, dies and whatever else. But we know that both Tariq and Brayden are going to survive into Season 4. So when it's all said and done at the end of Season 3, Noma will still have Tariq, Brayden and what's left of the crew under her thumb and putting pressure on them like never before. At the same time, Davis finally figures out who Noma's daughter is and that she is going to school in Chicago, Illinois, maybe Northwestern or some made up school in Chicago like Stansfield. And this is where Tommy's nephew D-Mac comes into play. Remember, D-Mac grew up in the streets, raised up by Jannard and the CBI gang, but he just got shot. And Tommy is trying to get him into school because he's really smart and a whiz with numbers. So then we get over to Force and we find out that D-Mac is now going to college. And he's actually in a relationship with Noma's daughter. Both who are completely legit, just going to school and enjoying their lives. After this, it could go two ways. First, David shows Tariq the picture. Then it flashes to D-Mac and Noma's daughter at school, and it concludes that way, giving us all season two of Force to be introduced to Noma's daughter and wonder what's going to happen with her. The second scenario is my personal favorite. It is Tariq and Brayden figure out who Noma's daughter is and take a trip to Chicago to grab her up and take her hostage. Then they run into her dorm room where they find Noma's daughter and D-Mac. Then they hit D-Mac with a pistol and knock him out, take Noma's daughter, and disappear into the night. And this would be how 4 Season 2 would start. Either way, to me, tying D-Mac in with Noma's daughter would be the perfect way to cross over these two shows. Then we could even get Noma appearing in Chicago and meeting with D-Mac and Tommy Egan, forcing them to sell her product and find her daughter or possibly even capture Tariq and bring him to her. I want to see a Tariq-Tommy war play out someday, but I'm sure this won't actually happen until Tommy kills Tasha. Getting me to my second Ghost Force crossover theory, this is that Tommy Egan gets the drop on where Tasha's staying and her new identity, and he shows up and cancels Tasha's Christmas. Then season three of Ghost would end with Tariq getting a call from Estelle or Tamika Washington saying that his mother has just been killed, creating a new storyline going into season four of Ghost with Tariq trying to find out who killed Tasha. Was it Tommy or one of Noma's people? Getting me to my next Ghost Force crossover theory, and that is Tommy starts moving work for Tariq in Chicago. If the Tejadas end up getting wiped out, Tariq is going to need a new way to move the work. And as far as I can remember, Tommy and Diamond both said they were done messing with Dahlia, 
but neither have a plug. So Tommy needs a plug, Tariq needs to move the work. It seems simple. This is where 2-bit would come into the picture. IMBD has 2-bit listed as cast for 4 season 2, all 10 episodes. 2-bit could possibly serve as the go-between for Tariq and Tommy since Tommy doesn't want to show his face in New York. Getting me to my final Ghost Force crossover theory. This one has to do with Blanca Rodriguez and Junior Young, Angela's nephew. We already know that Tommy killed Angela, who Paul's and Junior thought for the longest time was actually James who killed Angela. But at the end of Power Season 6, Tasha finally told Paul's the truth that Tommy Egan killed Angela. So let's assume Paz told Junior this information also. But they also think that Tommy Egan is dead. Then Blanca, who is Junior's boss, and DEA, DEA being a federal agency and not limited to the jurisdiction of New York, assigns Junior to head to Chicago to take a look at the action going on there. This is when he finds out his dear TT's killer is still alive and well, and living his best life in Chicago. Then at this point, he could either report this news back to Blanca in New York, or keep it to himself and try to get retribution for his dear TT by trying to kill Tommy himself. Let me know in the comments the ghost force crossover scenario that you would like to see happen. And if you would rather see Tariq and Tommy reunite or at war. And before I go... Joseph Sikora, who plays Tommy, made a post on his social media a few months ago talking about we will know for sure if Ghost is dead or alive on Season 2, Episode 5 of Force. So could Season 2 of Force be when the legend James St. Patrick, a.k.a. Ghost, returns? In my opinion, Ghost would fit better in Force than he would Ghost. Simply because in power, Ghost was running the streets with Tommy Egan and grew up with him and had many more scenes with Tommy than he did with Tariq. It might could not even be a return, maybe just a phone call or a text or something from Ghost letting us know that he's still alive, but letting it be a mystery when and where he's going to return. If it is confirmation that Ghost is dead, what could it be? That they dig up his body for some reason. Maybe Tommy has a flashback to seeing Ghost's dead body. I'm not sure what else would confirm to us that Ghost is dead. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.